Welcome to Dude RV. Today, I find myself at Stephen F. Austin State Park. Welcome to Dude RV. We're wandering around the state, great state of Texas seeing points of interest and most importantly exploring the Texas State Parks. And today I find myself at Stephen F. Austin State Park. I've heard a lot of great things about this beautiful little park. So we're going to jump on Little Red with the GoPro Hero 9 Max Lens Mod. I'm going to give you a first person view a virtual tour that is right a virtual tour of stephen f austin state park so let's get on the scooter and go check it out camera seated scooters ready cue the music stephen f austin state park is just west of the greater houston metropolitan area right off of i-10 it is on the Brazos River and is located in what was San Felipe de Austin which was the, the town that Stephen F. Austin founded when he was the impresario for Mexico which is basically a land broker. This is a really pretty little park. As you shall soon see. First place we're gonna visit is the day use and walk-in tent camping area. Uh-oh, better reset the camera. Hold on. Bouncy, bumpy roads always knock loose out of alignment all right there we go need better shocks that's a, kind of surprised me but not a whole lot of stuff here in Stephen F. Austin State Park. Uh, the main attraction would be hiking and biking trails. And just beautiful place to picnic. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we'll just run with it right there. I can only imagine it is second day of spring so we're March 21 of 2021 it is a very pleasant temperature we're in the low 60s But I can only imagine that during the summer, this place is probably hotter than blazes. With all the trees to block the wind. So that was the, a walk-in tent area that we just passed through. Now we're back into the day use area. Now according to the people that at the front office, there are a couple of trails that are Little Red accessible. So there'll be a, a couple of, at least one video in the uh, Scooter Trail playlist. Make sure nobody's coming.
this park is prone to flooding in the spring it has taken me a couple of springs to get reservations the last two times I've had reservations here the park was flooded out so keep that in mind when you're planning your visit to Stephen F. Austin State Park now there are a couple of swing sets in the park not really any playgrounds over by the day use area we that we passed there's a an old basketball court a swing set and a volleyball court there's nothing really for the little ones. Now here we're on the shelter loop. This is to keep the bugs out of your beer while you're camping. Actually, it's to keep the bugs from eating you alive while you're sleeping at night. I have not seen any. Well, there's one right there. There's an air conditioned cabin. How about that? So they do have air conditioned cabins. Now we'll come back to that. Tom and Stacy of RV Texas, y'all, this is one of their favorite parks. And they've actually done some volunteer work out here on the trail systems. Thank you for that. We're going to go into the second tent area. So this actually goes back over to where we were. We'll, we'll run down here to that intersection just so you can see. Because these are primitive tent sites as well. They have water, no power. So that puts us back at the, the shelter and cabin loop. This is a really rough road back here. So it looks like the shower facility is nearly complete. So if you're over here, you've got to use the porta potties. And just to be different, I'm going to go this way. If you don't have any problems dry camping, you can be back here all by yourself. Of course, the sites are pretty small, so you'd have to do a van or a a car, they probably won't let you back here with a motor home.
that is the tent loop. Now we'll cruise around and ride through the RV loop. There is only one RV loop. And as you will see, it's a good one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down to see the river. There's no paved road that runs down there. shower and bathroom adjacent and connected to the RV camping loop. Well, let's go check out the overnight group camp hall. I haven't been down here. More porta potties. This is a trailhead. And I've been surprised to see recycling bins here at Stephen F. Austin State Park. That's not something you typically see in a Texas State Park. I'm glad it's here though. It's here on the RV loop. All of the sites are pulled through and they are all full connection. And as you can see, it is very popular. It's Sunday afternoon. March. This is usually when the park is emptying out, but this one is filling up. good thing is this is a very smooth road. Passing the restroom again. And here we are, base camp. And those are always so much fun. I know, I know they're more fun for me than they are for you, but I do what I can. Hey, if you enjoyed our little ride through Stephen F. Austin State Park, I sure would appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and blasting that out across your social media. 
And if this is your first visit, I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. For those of you who have been following along, and especially my patrons, thank you very much. That is why I do what I do. That is why I get to go to all of these beautiful places. I mean, look at this campground. This, this is my campsite. How cool is that? Y'all come back now, you hear?